Hi guys, it's SBIT and welcome back to a brand new video now. I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling a little bit ropey, alright? I had a few too many last night, orange squashes, alright? Not in David Brent. Oh no, what a horrible start to a video. The reason why I'm telling you, if my voice sounds horrendous today, it's a bit croaky. That is the reason. So, nevertheless, I'm going to try and power through for you because a lot of people have been asking me about VPNs recently and, and problems they're having, how to improve the speeds and things like that. Because a lot of you guys have been using them, uh, saying your internet speeds have been cut drastically, almost to the point where you can't stream stuff. So, some of you are saying it's cutting it by like 90%. So, so without further ado, let's jump straight onto my laptop. I'm doing it on my Mac. But you can do it on your phone, your Android box, like literally at your Fire Stick, Fire TV box, any of that. Uh, you can do the same thing. Like and share if you do enjoy the video and find it helpful and think others might. And subscribe and hit that little notification bell if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video. <sighs> this is going to be really hard. My head is absolutely banging. But it's my own fault. Let me know in the comment section below if you had a messy weekend as well. And as a result, I'm now struggling. Anyway, right, so we are on a broadband speed checker and I'm going to run a speed test to show you exactly how fast my internet speed is. Then I'm going to log on to a VPN. The VPN I'm using in this is called IP Vanish. There are many different VPNs. You can use this sort of thing for all different VPNs generally. IP Vanish is a very popular one. I've got more information below if you are interested, but like I said, you can use it with any VPN really. So, I'm going to run a speed test, uh, see what we're, what we're working with, and then of course I'm going to sign onto the VPN, show you the speed of the suggested best available server, uh, and then I'm going to show you how to alter that so that you can get a better speed than the one that they almost recommend. Okay, so we're just going to start the speed test now to see exactly what we're working with. Okay, so the download speed is about 52, 53. See, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select... Uh, as an example, United States, and I'm going to go with best available city, which a lot of people will tend to do in order to just, it, they feel that like that's going to be the best solution for them. So we click on uh, connect, it's then going to connect, and I've been connected to Boston. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back off the VPN, and I'm going to run another speed check. So we're now going into the second test, now it's connected to the Boston server. And as you can see, straight away, uh, the scores have been cut in terms of the download speed. Usually the upload speed stays the same, but the download speed definitely usually takes a bit of a hit. And it's, as you can see, there's 17 now from 53. So that is a substantial hit to the speed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back onto the VPN again. I'm going to go back onto IP Vanish, And I'm going to show you a way that you can actually speed that uh, download speed up when you're connected to the IP Vanish VPN. So we are on Boston. What we're going to do now is we're going to choose a server that is closer to home. And uh, there's going to be a choice of different servers within that region as well. So we're going to disconnect from that one. And we're going to select here, United Kingdom. And I'm going to choose a city that is actually closer to my home. If we click on Best Available City, and then once you select one of these, you've also then got Best Available Server, but you'll have a list of under that city for different servers. Some have one, some have three, some have five, some like London has loads. So you want to experiment with picking the city that's closest to home and then you want to, on this section underneath, you want to pick, you want to try the different servers that come with those cities because obviously they will range in performance. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick the city that's closest to me and then I'm going to go through and test the different servers within that city to see which is actually the best one for me. Right, so I've now re-signed up to a new server, one that's closer to home, and I'm going to start the speed test again. Okay, so it is re-downloading now, now that I've signed up to this new server, and straight away, as you can see here, now one of the servers that I chose from the city that was closest to me gave me another score of around 17, yet this one, as you can see straight away, this was the second one down on the list of different servers within that city, and it's straight away coming at nearly as much as my actual speed. So as you can see, my normal speed was 53. Uh, when I'd sign up to the Boston one, it was around 17, I think. When I sign up to the uh, first uh, best available server within the city, it wasn't actually the best available for me for speed. So make sure that you do actually check 
and test the different servers within the city that is closest to you because as you can see I've got a score of 4256 instead of 17 and that makes a massive difference and it's pretty much almost as quick as my full internet connection without running the VPN. Right so that was hopefully a little tip for you guys so that you can improve the speed of your internet when you're using a VPN. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got a way of improving your internet speed whilst on a VPN that again some of the viewers might find helpful and I can always do more videos as well if you are interested in this sort of area. Question of the day, let me know which VPN you use in the video section below. Remember to like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Subscribe and hit that little notification bell next to it if you want to be notified every time I post a video because just being subscribed sometimes doesn't show you the videos unless you go into your subscription section. If you're just on your homepage, you sometimes won't see these videos unless you have that little bell clicked and then every time I post, you'll get a little drop-down notification via email or via... That was the chair again. I did this a few videos ago. I'm, that's... It's amazing what keeps me entertained sometimes. Young at heart, what a child. Um, but yeah, little notification bell, and then, yeah, you'll get an email notification or a little uh, YouTube notification when you... I am really struggling. And for that reason, that sentence is not even going to be finished for this video. I'm going to leave it there, and I'll see you tomorrow where I'll hopefully I'll feel a little bit fresher. And until then, please tell me in the section below the trials and tribulations of your weekend. I'll see you in the next one. It's SBRT, peace out. Hi guys, it's SBRT and welcome back to a brand new video. And today is a video that I've not done in quite a long time. And it's talking about an add-on for Cody.